What do you expect from that first job out of college? Working your way up from the bottom? Instead, how does this sound? Starting in a guaranteed leadership position with people who look to you for guidance because you're trained to give it. That was good. Make important decisions yep. in critical uh, situations. Looks like we stopped one team in lobby. Uh, the other team is exactly. going by the time, like, a As minute hits. Officer. Uh, we'll send the timer to a bit, if anything. Sweet. Uh, we have Kane University a choice in lobby currently. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I am writing that down, baby. <laughs> That's three less I got to do after. Indemnity, Indemnity, sauce, and red blur. Sauce and red blur. Easy. Yeah. Dude, one time I had someone whose name was Akatsuki. And oh my god. Dude, I, like, I, I realized it right away. It was like a Naruto thing. <laughs> but whoops you just goes... Or no, it wasn't whoops you. It was uh, um, uh, Kigabyte's little brother. Dang it. Uh, Oddfellow. He goes, Akatsuki. <laughs> and I just kept on saying it the right way. <laughs> the skin is like tripling so down. I'm like, this is so okay, uh, I, I have to leave the topic. I can't. <laughs> I gotta do it. <laughs> no, yeah, no, 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 don't say it like that. Never say it like that. No, 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 no I'm actually like saying you're good. Like, okay, yeah. I know, no, 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 I think it's not the way to believe you. No, 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 yeah. So, um, if anything, I'll also press tab for you guys as well. Um, after the goal, I'm going to count out to have it all. I'll press tab for you guys. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah cause, uh, unlike uh, ESP2 package, uh, we won't have the uh, unbearable lag when we tag when we tapped in. I don't know why. Whenever I, I stream it, it, it always has a terrible, like, FPS drop, so I'm always tapped down on Rocket League. If not, it'll just be horrible FPS. Yeah. Ruthless. So, ooh, this is technically week five or what? Week five, yeah. It's TAC. Yeah. I. That works. See, I posted it in Black Hat TAC, yeah. So, ACS week five, King University, King University, 1 3 versus Wayne State, 4. Oh, 1 3 or 1 4? Shoot. 1 3. Uh, let me just check what I had. Ain't accept and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, fire for it. It's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for the kids. Just kids, that's wealth years and years. Oh, you might be talking about that. Oh, I'm gonna finish this big. We finna do it. Anybody ever did the odds is real big. Jobs that's real big. Say, so to tell you what I have, it's the king of the earth is one for me. Wayne State is for me. The only way that I can live. Yeah, correct. Okay. Oh, we got some new fun facts uh, posted in the latch at ECAC. <laughs> nice. Thank you for the heads up, dude. It did start me on 2021. That is. Got you, got you. As interesting. Want to forge a better okay. Oh, it looks like bad news with the eight sub today and for missions. Got it. You believe the best offense is a good defense. Talk about that as well. We've got a great and I, I, after like a here. minute or so, so then uh, Keto will push it then to in game after. You guys do your introduction. Or how are you guys? How are you guys need? Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable Wait, one more time? I mean, Sorry? I've tried everything. Oh, how are you guys on the introduction Literally after every... you guys like... Oh, teams, uh, a, just minute. Push in a minute. A minute? Okay, uh, yeah. got it. Yeah, when when the Atomic sends it back to me, you can send these guys the again. Got it, got it. Oh, uh, looks like we're almost ready. I'll, I'll let you guys go. That is comfortable. Are you the one others rally around? Inspire soldiers to follow your lead. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. We all got a thing. Greetings, everybody, and welcome to the Rocket League action of Esports U. Yeah, the ECAC Fall 2022 week number five. 
My name is Pirate J. I got I Atomic beside me. And Atomic, we've got two stellar teams, K University and Wayne State College up to bat. They're on deck. They're ready to go. Sounds like a good matchup to me. It, yeah, no, this is a good matchup, and I'll tell you why. You know what? And both of these teams have had a win so far in their respective regular season. Uh, Kane Cougars are coming in one and three, and Wayne State College is uh, well, they're four and zero. So they're going to be the big boss battle here Ooh. for Kane Cougars. Um, and uh, well, you got some pretty good players to to fight them for that. Yeah, we were taking out the ranks, right? Grand Champion 2. If you're not familiar with that rank, it's good. Uh, that's all you need to know, <laughs> all right? But I, I think I saw at least one player like that from Kane University. So listen, I'm, I'm looking for striking on both sides of the pitch here tonight. Remember, folks, in ECAC, it is a best of seven. So long series here for these players to get their heels in the dirt, get those wheels all messy, and ride around and see what they can do. Atomic. I think the players are ready. I think we're ready. So let's cut the chit chat, get to action. Five minutes on the clock for game number one. Let's get into it. Yeah, baseball. Set the tone for the rest of the series here, Pyro. And both teams definitely don't want to give up a goal early. We'll see how this kickoff goes into a balance. And uh, Pyro, already we are seeing the three people on the field. Am uh, Amatsugachi, uh, Fluff. WSC and for Kane it's Sauce, Red Blur, and Indemnity. We've got the color coordination down the pad on the stream on the game right here, right now. We've got demolitions on the field, explosions, everything atomic you could ask for in Rocket League. Uh, you know what? I will say, yeah, the, the physicality has already come out to play. We've, you know, a lot of people are talking recently. Uh, the demos, are they scummy? Are they, you know, here to stay? Obviously, they're here to stay. Um, but you've had some professional players hit 20 in one game. You've had, um, you know, myself try to go for every demo in the book in, that I can. Uh, I'm, I'm interested to see how the physical play happens in this game. Always factor, always disruption. Something you gotta think about when players are trying to maybe shift up the tactics. It's not why you don't see a lot of it to start out the game because players wanna see if they're tried and true methods or strategies and rotations and the regular suited Rocket League fit them just nice. Disruption not always the primary mechanism unless you're a team like version one in the RLCS. Be one, <laughs> it is game blue with maybe the best chance here down the field. Bad news trying to get something going there in the corner, but still locked into their back third years. Kane continue to press on. Yeah, but the mentality here on Wayne State is this is one of their few breakthroughs that they've had. They've been on defense almost the entirety of the game, and one of their first breakthroughs, they go ahead and score here, Pyro. Good transition here on the offense for Wayne State. You can tell they wanted to make this moment count, right? Uh, they catch the defense off guard, press through. There's some crashing on the boards. Good pass off the backboards. Good chemistry, honestly, from Wayne State. And you really look for a team who can hold that synergy when they transition between sides of the field, right? That's where a lot of teams end up missing out. So the cohesion that they can have the passing plays, but it was clear that everyone was going to press forward in that moment get the first the opening goal of this series and that's the that's the uh, tempo setter that you were looking for Tom. yeah the tempo setter i think you're completely right on that and and, and and you know the tempo also sets sets in way the creativity that both of these teams will develop and how you know their offensive strategies will will come in from their defense you already saw wsc um, and how they develop their defense into their offense with a, a few infield passes. They're doing it again here, but this time on defense. And uh, they do a good job of controlling it and clearing it. And it'll be sent right back the right. Look at this, a passing play attempt as well happening once again for WSC. But Keen University are able to deal with it again and again. Yeah, you mentioned creativity. They're showing up big time. Amatsugachi almost had the nuttiest redirected to the top corner. I really want to see more opportunities like that transpire. Amatsugashi still haggling towards their opponent's box. They cannot find that second touch after a shot hits the crossbar. They want to press forward. Still, indemnity looking. Route out of their own half. Can't find it. Flush. 
positioning backwards. Bad news, can't get past indemnity. There's a clear to the other side. Most of the counterattacks for Wayne State have worked out with these passing plays. Amatsugachi again, just a near miss on the ball. Off of the crossbar, though. Goes bad news, and they got something to work with. Yep, another goal coming in from Wayne, but not without some opportunities that Kane just couldn't finish on, and they get punished for it on, once again, a transition from defense to offense. I think there needs to be a little more uh, presence on the backboard right now for Kane Blue. Both shots right now are passes right off of the bare backboard of Kane Blue. There, just leave the wide open for Wayne State College to take advantage of. If there's defenders that are ready to send those away, maybe even get some air dribble, some extra touches off of their clears from the backboard or connect with someone midfield, uh, that's the thing that can sort of set the tempo in the way for this team. Right now, though, they're struggling to keep that backboard closed up right now. On the other side, press forward, trying to get something to work with here in game one. Exactly what you said, you know, those infield passes, the creativity, like I mentioned before, it's what is going to matter, especially for Kang to go and try to equalize this game or mitigate it at least as much as possible. They only have 50 seconds to do so. Indemnity. Getting it clear, but it's going right back to Amatsugachi. And he's not able to finalize that one, but they are still on the offensive attack. They're going to get bumped off the side wall. This might be a breakthrough for Kane. If they can just get a beat, they will. Amatsugachi is not able to clear. They'll have a third man trying to take a shot. It's just going to be too high. No one on the backboard. And a few hits that just aren't able to come to fruition here, Pyro. Oh, yeah. Chances on a silk platter here, but it comes down to clinicality. Those shots aren't coming, but the demos are. Big bump of the goal line, enabling Red Blur. The shot, though, saved immediately blocked by Flush. Wayne State College ready to climb down upon any percolating opportunities. Still, the late game, game number one, single digits on the clock now. Final shot coming out of Wayne State College. Is it enough? We got a two for here on the goal line, but they'll come out with a donut. Nothing. Still, just two goals on the scoreboard. That's all they're going to need. Ball can stay alive. Yeah, my goodness, goodness what, what a convincing victory, victory that, that is as well. well. We are on pace to uh, still seeing the Wayne State, State Warriors um, go 5-0 and after that first game. They have all the momentum going into the rest of the series. This is, however, a best of seven momentum in the first game. May not mean as much, but I mean, to be a shutout victory in game one, that's still got to mean as much as it possibly can. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is an undefeated team. You expect them to go undefeated in every single game, and they might as well with that shutout against Kane University. But, you know, Wayne State College, I, I do still want to see more from this team. I got to be honest. Yeah, the, the shot counts aren't bad. Five to three could be better given how much presence they had on the offensive side. I don't think they gave themselves enough tries that they really could have had in this game. I, I know it's maybe a, a little too critical to be harm harping down on the team that just won, but this is the undefeated team right now at ECAC. This is a team that wants to send a call all across all, every mountain range and we are the team to beat a 2-0 lead here i don't know if it's enough to to make that a dominant call atomic so maybe they'll feel even more energized in this game number two to do just that and uh, make this work for them though game two and a chance maybe for kane university to score their very first goal in this series draw first blood will happen in this next one we'll see what they got atomic yeah, well, here's hoping, you know what I mean? It isn't guaranteed. However, it is very unlikely that they don't score again. It would be quite the feat uh, as well. So, um, I see... One moment. Pyro. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, but, yeah, this game number two is where, you know, everything's going to matter here, Pyro. Yeah, it appears so. I mean, listen, we can talk about what wasn't there for uh, WSC, but for Kane University, we got to hit those shots, okay? That was the big thing that we missed. Try for the backboard tries. Try to rip a page out of the strategy book, you know, from Wayne State. That's how they were scoring their goals. That might be how they score the opening one here in game two. Ball just batting right off of that backboard once again. Kane Blue able to survive. For a moment now, Demity will get a save on the scoreboard there. Takes that away. Sauce wants to cherry pick this shot immediately. A hard one down the line, and maybe it's some hard shots like that that could surprise Wayne State. 
Yep, and they will continue to do that over and over again. They must break the uh, the zero goal barrier. They they will draw blood at some point, and I think when they do, they're going to feel themselves. They're going to know that they were able to at least score and beat Kane in some way, somehow. There might be a possibility here. They're playing defense. Bad news. We'll do a good job of clearing it away over to the corner to his teammate behind it now. Using the side wall and extending himself to get there. Red Blur with the 50. That is not too good. That might be a shot. It, oh, it's going to hit the post. And we're going to go the other way with Kane. Not, but intercepted by WSC. Bad news again to the goal line, but we've got three defenders there for Kane Blue to lock it up. So, nothing to worry about too, too much if you're Kane Blue fan. But if you have a Matsugachi on the ball, Wayne State, I think that's the one thing right now to worry about for Kane Blue. This player has put in some unreal touches on the ball. Uh, they're earning extra touches and some of the air dribbles. They've had these redirect chances as well. It's going to be a double demo to lead this into a 2v2 situation. Could open up some scoring lanes for Wayne State. You get the respawn, you get the double commit. McCain Blue to keep that ball away. It just seems like, despite the demolitions of Tom, the Komatsugachi, every time they're on the ball, it's a threatening aura. You know what? I am going to go ahead and relate with you on that one as well, but I'm going to go ahead and push back a little bit. I think bad news is the one to worry about. You know, Amatsugachi, yeah, sure, he's a shabby. He's setting up the plays. But man, does bad news know how to take a shot and make it dangerous? Keen, Kane, sorry. Um, will have to deal with both of them respectively. They're going to go up the side wall. Flash going to challenge both of them. We're going to go for what uh, has been designed as a wifty wifty here in the game. And they will continue to press up the field. One player goes by, two players go by, and Matsugachi almost was able to go down the entire pitch without having anyone touch the ball, but that was cut short there, Pyro. And we go back up once again on the corner wall. Something came blue, I think, really needed to reset this defense. It was looking a little bit suspect for them. Matsugachi, good 50 50 to keep that ball rolling, flush, ready for this on the side wall that speaks to their positioning their rotation on offense are always ready for that next player to slot in it's flush once again in that hot the civic just can't find a way around it though Matsugashi next flips it into the midfield two players commit on that that leaves Matsugashi as the final defender can't get there in time Saw sees it that's the first strike for Kane Blue and not only is it the first strike, but that is an uncontested strike. Wayne State have not scored. They are successfully in the lead. And I personally am very, very happy in that Kane are going to be also well-deserved. They have four saves on defense, more than double than what Wayne State has. Wow. Pyro, did you, did you just see that? Yeah, the Woodworks playing a big favor right now for Wayne State. <laughs> I think that was inches away from being yet another for Game Blue. Almost had a really good bounce off of that ceiling, but hey, I'll give it to these players. The, the, the ceiling players are becoming a big part of the meta lately for Rocket League. You have Yan uh, from Fury in NA right now, working with the flip resets coming off the ceiling, getting those extra touches. It doesn't matter what shot or what defenders are in the way. There's nothing there for Kane Blue. It's open season for Wayne State as they score the equalizer. Yep, and he will press that button. That will go all the way. Flush in. Flush scores that one in for Wayne State. We are tied up 1-1 here, Pyro. And Kane had a short moment of being in the lead. And, uh, well, they're not losing. They're tied here. And I have a lot of hope here for them. As, you know, they, they scored early. And, and they honestly broke out the other team. They just made a little bit of a mistake here on the third man. Get there, Flush. Great flip. Ceiling is picked up by a Matsugachi. This was a big vulnerable moment for Kane Blue with the aerial prowess from Flush. And Amatsugachi saw that, took the moment for what it was, and finished the play. Great heads up movements from Wayne State. Now they've got the lead atomic. So Kane Blue, despite scoring their first, are now in the back end with a minute remaining. Yeah, and you know what? It was you were right to say the word prowess. It was the prowess of his just ability to kind of hold the ball in midair after his ceiling uh, flip reset. There we go. 
um, that, that led to that goal. Kane just could not combat it. They will try to revive this as they have all three behind the ball here. Pass over to midfield. A shot coming in. Just going to be wide. Now we have two men on it. But a man named Flush will get in the way. He will clear it to the other side. We have an aerial for bad news. That will be just a little bit short of where the ball actually is. And But they are not relenting. Another shot goes in and off the crossbar in. Flush scores. I wanted to cut a cane on their passing plays in the midfield. That was looking like their best shot taking. But now it's a Matsugachi who sees Flush on the other end. It's a cross from the other side of the field. Over to him, the bar. Dilly Bardowski, call it whatever you want. That's another goal for Wayne State. And they're looking to make this red carpet run down to the final seconds of game two and tack another tally. Another win for the scoreboard. And they will continue. There's only 10 seconds left, and you can just say Wayne State have taken a game number two. Pyro Kane to go back to the drawing board, figure out what went wrong here in this game. I'll tell you a little bit of it. It's the infield passes from WSC, and <laughs> they are just showboating here on the field. Feels a little like showboating when you see Flush hang around from the sidewall, go off the ceiling, flip it over in the Matsugashi, and giving literally no respect to the defense. Double committing effectively on the play and saying, yeah, I think I'm still going to hang around and just score this ball. Uh, it feels almost BM like in a way. But Wayne State, the undefeated crew, that's how you got to play. You got to play with confidence. You got to show that on the field. I I think, think with the commitments that they're, they're making right, right now, they're, they're doing, doing just, just that. that. Kane University, University, their best, best look into getting this match is to punish Wayne State, State for their overcommitment. commitment. Because that's, that's, that's a double commitment. Uh, you, you can't, can't draw, draw that any other way. way. If you, you get, get a block, block on that shot, you've got, got a great, great opportunity for a counterattack. So, mm -hmm. you know, kind of picking up the speed a little bit, playing like the tempo of Wayne State and making them punish for those situations. Could work out in favor for Kane. Yep, and, yep, and, and, there and there was a moment, moment there, there where, where they were playing at the tempo, they were playing above tempo of Wayne State, but they couldn't keep it up. Um, but, I mean, Wayne State, the way they were playing, if there was like a Tony Hawk um, point modifier, if you you know you ever played that game, I think uh, Matsugachi would probably have like an astronomical number of the slipping off the, the ceiling and <laughs> passing it to his teammates. It was absolutely nuts. Um, and I think we're going to expect to see more of that. How does Wayne State keep it up, and how does Kane respond? It's all up here in game number three. Yeah, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 was favorite line on PlayStation 2. Big shout out to the Tony Hawk franchise. I, I don't know. It, one, of, one of these days, Rocket League, they'll introduce a mode where the, the most <laughs> flips you get off the ball, you get a times two, times three, times four. That's a minus one of defenders there for when Wayne State as they're bumped out of the play. Kane Blue trying to take advantage of the moment, but it's Wayne State, as ever, to recover quickly, to uh, speed up to the ball, set the tempo once again. Tommy, they're just a tough team to beat. Yeah, Ben, I mean, they are a tough team to beat. Look at their pre-jumps coming up on the side wall. They are not letting Kane University have any ability in setting up a passing play from their own side. I mean, they are putting pressure where in, in their back in, in the backfield from the team. They're putting it on their defense. It's everywhere for Wayne State so far. Uh, Kane need to find some more creative ways to kind of get away from these players. They just need to be a little bit outsped, like you said, tempo uh, earlier. Well, we'll see if the pacing increases or if Wayne State are just going to continue to have their way. I think I've seen this play before. Amatsugachi just waiting for the ball to plummet down in the zone, the scoring zone that is massive dunk to get Wayne State on the right foot. Someone call Plankton. That's how you make a Krabby Patty. He just slammed that burger right on down and scored it in. Um, Wayne State take another lead early on here and how how Kane respond here is with a little bit of offense sauce behind it but flush will respond very quickly and Magachi was gonna be right in the way another goal for Wayne State and Kane are slipping a little bit away I mean, feed the beast at this point. You know what I mean? Like, Amatsu got you just again and again, ready to cherry pick every moment. There's no reason he should be pushed up that far on the play. Let's be honest. You're rotating on defense because that possession isn't yours until the moment Flush sends that ball forward. But of course, of 
course, Amatigashi is ready. He's filing in for that shot as well. He is ever present to per just coagulate the sweat on the forehead of Kane Blues players. It's that simple. That is the reason that they are terrified in this moment. And they're, they're playing a little scared. Some, some missed touches. Some, some plays where they're just not on the mark. Bad news! Oh, boy! That's a shot! I mean, um, yeah, so the, the pinch of the sidewall, that's normal. And then the shot that doesn't hit the ground with his aerial that is spinning five times, that's normal as well. So Wayne State are doing everything normal. Um, that said, no one ever. They are, they are absolutely doing amazing things here on the pitch. And Kane, honestly, I, I, if I was on the field, I'd be pretty surprised as to what is happening to me right now. In University. Head on a swivel. That's what's necessary in this game. Gets Wayne State. Down 0-3. to three, Half the game left. If one team can do it, then so can they. That's the mindset they're going to need to keep themselves level-headed in this match. Oh. And there is indemnity on the goal line. Great perseverance there to be able to withstand yet another shot from Kane Blue. And honestly, the vigilance as well, just to be well-positioned on the shot. Can they turn it and do the scoring opportunity, though? One defender left. Flush. They easily clear that away as the shot never connects. Kane Blue. Another opportunity gone dry, but the setup here. Flush turns it away for Kane Blue to restart. Yeah, Ben, I like the way you were thinking there, Pyro. You said that was an amazing save with some pretty good positioning. What that tells me is Kane University, they're adjusting. They're making sure they're not just letting the same infield passes hurt them time and time again. However, another one is coming in from Flush. It's going to go up the ceiling. Rembler behind it. Pass on Amosagashi. He will get one to flush, but not without some interference coming in from Kane. And this is the perseverance that you were just talking about. They are doing it time and time again. They're behind it. Here it goes again. Matsugashi is kind of doubling up with his teammate, but nothing that Red Blur cannot handle from Kane. Kane are going to give the ball a bit of way now. Flush behind it. A 50-50 coming in the midfield. Bad news. Up for a shot. Will it get through? It will. 4-0. And WSC have really doubled their goals in the past minutes. You know what? He's an RN genius, but there's no luck associated with these shots. That is pure skill. They're right on target from uh, the shot he had from the top ropes right under the crossbar to that one where he was able to angle his car back into the shot. There was some acrobatics needed on that play, and maybe a little more luck needed for Kane Blue on that one. Somehow, a combination of the defenders and the woodwork are going to kick that ball to the curb, and a minute remains on the clock for Kane Blue to somehow gain some ground in this series. No better way than to start it now. I leave a minute 10, okay? Listen, if they're able to start fixing some problems at the two minute mark with the infield passes and then score a goal at a minute, that means that they've kind of fixed themselves in a minute, right? I think that's a pretty good trace of, of you know, improvement. Um, I think that we are now set for four, four, five more goals from, uh, from, from them. Uh, that is what I'm concurring. Okay, I like it. <laughs> I, like, I yeah. like the expert analysis here from my co-caster, iAtomic. Oh, he's on the ball here. Is red blur as is bad news. Listen, he's got two goals in this game. He's even got an assist, almost 100% goal participation. There's a little too many players that participated in this play here. The ball's in the corner, flush is there, but the shot, the touch, the defense never arrives. Two goals down, Atomic, two to go. Hey, you know, I do not miss, I say. And you know what? I think we're going to have to go to bad news. We're going to have to let them know something. And I think it just might name um, rhyme with, with red views. Bad news. <laughs> How about bad news in Amatsugachi? <laughs> Listen, Adama, you and I both said these were the players to watch, right? Why not do it in dynamic duo fashion? Okay, this is what we've been waiting to see, that kind of stuff. Don't count flush out. All right, he doesn't have any shots registered in this game. But listen, zero, uh, two assists. Absolutely. Oh, in this game. Speaking of devil, Flush says, what about me? 
speak of the devil, speak of flush, man. I mean, look at the, I mean, this is just, you can't get a better flick. I mean, it, it's it's still going up when it hits the top right corner. I, I can't, like, when that happens in real soccer, that's impressive. To do it in Rocket League, that, that's just another level, man. I mean, they shut um, Kane State up. They, they had a little bit of momentum going. They scored two goals in 20 seconds. Oh, they're taking more shots. They're just not letting up. They, they want to make sure, you know what? We're going to go 4 0 in this series, and they're, they're on route to do so with the amount of momentum they've had carrying it from game one. There you go. No better way to establish your dominance than uh, give your opponents uh, a, a miniature flame, a bit of candlelight, of faith, of hope, and then wipe it away. No, extinguish it. The response from Wayne State was massive. And it was more than enough to give them a lead, a, a massive lead in this series. We're now at 3-0. It's long, best of seven. The undefeated Wayne State seem like they are readying themselves for the finish line of this series. But you know what, Atomic? We saw some blips, some, some lightning in a bottle moments for Kane University. What is it for you that they need to uh, really, what, are, what strengths do they need to arm themselves with to get a chance in this game four? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, and um, I think you're right. The lightning in the bottom moments, they're, they're happening. I would I would even say that there's a, a prized player on their team that I think can really take them to the next level if they, they realize it. He's, you know, you said lightning in the bottom, more like a blur. I think it, it's got a particular color. I think it's red. Red blur. Mm -hmm. It's coming to me now, okay? It's going to my head. He had five shots there in that game. Um, double, or, you know, more than anybody, well... Bad news had six, but you know, there's six goals in the field, so that's that's a give me, right? But Red Blur had a lot of offensive opportunities there for Kane. If they are um, allowing Kane to kind of dictate the offense, maybe give it over to Indemnity to dictate the defense, I think they can really flush out um, a new type of, of game plan and a way to beat Wayne State. And something that seems unsurmountable really isn't all that hard. They've had the lead before. Can they get there early again? That's right, it was early on that. Game Blue found their first lead in game number two with the opening goal. Red Blur, just that player to maybe find it. So, oh, so close on the read. Yes. The final punch is going to be it. From the right to the left hook to the uppercut. It's indemnity to score first. Yeah, they're bobbing and weaving. I mean, Wayne State did not want to get punched there, but they got one right in the face as they were dodging a left hook. Payne will go on the board early. And with the pass from Red Blur over to indemnity, those two, like you said, do have those lighting in the bottle moments, and how many more of those do they have? It's up to them. It really is. Demolitions on the field. 2v2 for a moment. Sauce just respawns right under the ball. Says, who, me? Well, no. Oh. How about you, Amatsugachi? You are right in position for this shot. It's sent down. Bad news. Has space. Has time. He's up the ceiling. There's a flip still to be had here. Oh. He just doesn't go his way. But you can tell Wayne State, oh, they are feeling very empowered after conceding the first goal. Yeah, that or, I mean, I, you know, they poked the bear here. <laughs> They've anchored them early. And uh, if the, the momentum from, from getting an early goal is just so much. There's a couple more shots coming in. Wayne State had been on defense for the past two minutes. How much longer will they allow that to happen? And Machigachi trying to turn it the other way, but he will... We're right back over to Kane using the side wall, gaining some upfield progression. Indemnity must race to this ball. There will be a 50-50 in the midfield. It will be won by bad news. Wayne State will send it across, and they will continue to be on that side. Now it is their time to be on the offensive third. Held off quite well so far against Wayne State here. Kane Blue. This shot count, though. Matsugachi coming around the right side so he can fend it off and around the left. Post manages to do that quite well. Karini on the sideline now is bad news, but he's giving up the ball. Flush sees that coming, though. He's in position there. Still on the right side of the field to kick it away and following the, up the ball in unison. Bad news. Don't give him this chance. Up the backboard. Amatsu Gachi is going to be the last player there, but two defenders rise up for Game Blue to kick it away to a safer zone, the corner of the field where few players can shoot and score. Game Blue again. Fending off a harsh offensive from Wayne State, they are think they are thinking and looking. I think much more cohesive on defense. Yeah, exactly. And the Wayne State 
they are in a lot of awkward but prosperous opportunities on one hand they can go ahead and give up a third man take that shot that is ever so risky and um, try to beat a player to the ball or they can you know kind of play it safe maybe wait to use that third man to make sure that they have another third man to get back in time and uh, it seems to me that they are betting on the long game, waiting to tie this up whenever there is a clear and crystal mistake from Kane to strike and seek their fangs into the flesh of this fight. Wednesday, that's going to be it. Tamatsu Dachi again. The one to get things rolling for Wayne State. And believe it or not, this was only their second shot registered in this game. It feels like they have had so much more pressure than that, but comes down to the clinicality of the shot taking, the precision and the shots there. The equalizer, Wayne State, tie it up. Yeah, but when I was talking about a player on Wayne State that was a little bit hesitant to release their third man position, it was in fact Amatsugachi, but when he knew that there was a mistake on Kane and he had ability to beat every player on that field and get a clinical and pixel perfect shot, he took his chance. That is a good way to tie this game up. They will be waiting to do that again. Um, Kane University now need to step it up, try to win this game, keep competitive here in this series. What's it gonna take? We're already down to the final two minutes here. And Kane Blue, we've seen them have the early lead and we've seen it go so, so far against them afterwards. So, can they elicit some response? It takes some grit, it takes some resiliency. See moments, but we need to see more consistency. There has to be a defender here. Indemnity ready for that shot from Bad News, but are they ready for more? Sauce able to have that backboard positioning, something we've asked for since game one. They've improved on that most certainly. Sauce the last defender is Red Blur. Then one off the field, but Bad News. Oh, this is cream of the crop for him. Double tap every time. Massive goal for Wayne State. I mean, there wasn't even really a mistake. I mean, they had a player up for the what a potential shot, but the the double tap opportunity that Bad News gave himself, pass it to himself, scored it himself, makes this a lead here once again for Wayne State. And I got to say, it's just well-deserved. Definitely feels like that. Game blue. Their backboard has been vulnerable at moments. And you can certainly tell when those moments could have gone better for them. They had to have someone up for them, but bad news continues to be an absolute nuisance for them. It may continue to be just that. 37 seconds could be just the time that we spend left on this field that Wayne State could win this series in sweeping fashion. Maybe another goal could seal the deal. It's on the goal line. Sauce bumped into the save, bumped into the ball again. Amatsugashi can't bring that ball around the goal line, but bad news is there to put it on oh. target. Red Blur, it keeps the team alive for a few seconds longer. And they will continue to just try to get this ball up. Let's see if Wayne State will get too greedy with this lead. And if Kane have a chance now, they have possession. Going up the side wall. There's a pass over to the midfield. There's a two players up. That will go straight to the ground. Wayne State will sweep their way to a 5-0 season record. A 4-0 uh, series record and man I I mean I can't see someone deserving it more that double tap especially solidified mm. the deal for me to say man the better team kind of came out on top today yeah it's fantastic effort I, I think from everyone flush just being the facilitator of this Wayne State team and Amatsugashi and bad news tearing it up no matter who it was they were sending through the goals and they were working the backboard all along Kane University despite their one and three record now one and four uh they have some work to do but this was not a bad showing against an undefeated team that last game just a one point game they've had other efforts where they were in the lead kept the scoreline close they show signs of potential sometimes it comes down to that consistency so Congratulations to Wayne State College. Indeed, an undefeated run here so far. Folks, we're not quite done, though, broadcasting the action here. We have more to talk about. We'll get an interview with mm -hmm. one of the winners from Wayne State College. So don't go anywhere. Stick around. Yeah. The thing that gets us out of bed or keeps us out of it. The thing we live to do that we do for nothing at all. But don't do it for nothing. 
take it to where it means everything. Becoming a leader is a choice. So if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Look to science to solve problems? Wield a microscope to confront global threats. You sometimes dream in code? Become a cyber attacker's worst nightmare. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. What do you expect from that first job out of college? Working your way up from the bottom? Instead, how does this sound? Starting in a guaranteed leadership position with people who look to you for guidance because you're trained to give it and make important decisions in critical situations. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. Becoming a leader is a choice not everyone wants to make. Because all eyes are on you. Calling the shots. Inspiring others to follow. In any environment. At any scale. It's not for everyone. But if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead as an army officer. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here? You'll have plenty of ammo. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars. It's real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to Count for them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two rents They was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new Smell like can too I'm fresh forever like canned food Try and tell me what I can't do I wanna see the world, my vision on Shamu That mean I got goals, that's real big Foes, that's real big Y'all offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big Coming into the ring with blows, that's real big I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live
Good evening, everybody. Welcome on back to the ECAC Esports Action. We're here week five, just witnessed the sweep city from Wayne State College against Kane University, Rocket League Blue, and graced by the presence of one of these winners from Wayne State Flush. Welcome on into the broadcast. Thank you so much for speaking with us. You extend your undefeated record here. How are you feeling? Uh, feeling pretty good. It's just another win in the books, though. Hey, that's all it takes, right? It's it's just another yeah. win. All right, Atomic, what do you got for our for our friend here, Flush? Yeah, man, he's got the mentality of steel. But what I will say is, you know, you obviously have two other teammates, and you got a coach. You got probably you know some type of manager in some way, or some esports director over at Wayne State. Tell me about the esports program. Do you have like a, a esports kind of room? Is there like PCs in there? Are you just playing from your dorm rooms? Uh, what, what's going on over there? Yeah, we actually have a facility for our esports area, so we have uh, a bunch of computers where we can go to and uh, play our games. Oh wow, yeah, that's super cool. I always I love to hear about colleges entering the esports uh, scene, and then you know also providing their players not just with like the PCs that they bring from their house, but like giving them stuff that is um, industry standard, something they they can play on reliably, and you know will maybe be fixed by some kind of sponsor, right? So it's super super cool, and you know with that. You you ha you also have your two teammates with you all the time, and I I, I you know I, I know that you must you know you're pretty good at the team. Is there anybody uh, out of your two teammates, your coaches, that has you know so far in this season outshone or, or or shown up to scrims and just been kind of like the MVP per se? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, Bad news is actually a rookie this year, so he's shown oh. a lot of uh, improvement throughout the season, and we've grown a lot together. And Amatsu is just a really great player, so so far we're doing really well. For sure, yeah. for sure. Well, yeah, I mean that's kind of ideal. And Pyro, I, I, I think we've uh, we've seen, you know, he's got some uh some some really good aspects in his play, but he's always also able to give out some compliments over to his teammates. Yeah, I mean, speaking of your play style, uh flush, I, I it looked like you were trying to be a leader in the way you enabled your teammates, right? Bad news and Amatsu. I saw a lot of cross court clears from you to your teammates just trying to get them involved i saw uh a reset off the ceiling where he just dumped it right down to amatsu is that a typical role for you to play in a match or was that just kind of how the day went uh a little bit of both but yeah that's typically how he plays where i uh basically try to control the game give possession to my teammates and they can do whatever they want with the ball yeah i feel like that doesn't get talked enough enough about enough that's really a Huge leadership role to do that. So, hey, congratulations, Flush. I, I think your team is really well synergized the way you guys play, the way you guys show up for each other, and you deserve a pat on the back. I'll give you a shot here to give out any shout-outs that you like. Well, my, my shout-outs will only be for my teammates and my coach who actually started this for us. So uh, our coach has coached us through uh, three years of esports now. So wow. all, all credit goes to him. Love it. Absolutely love it. Well, shout out to the coach then. What's the coach's name? Uh, his name is Nico. All right, Coach Nico. Awesome work getting this team together and doing what you guys do today. Giving us good Rocket League. From Wayne State College, we have had flush, flush. Thank you so much for today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Well, folks, you heard from Flush and you heard from Wayne State College, an incredible sweep today against KD University. That is Wayne State continuing their undefeated run here on the eSports uh, ECAC broadcast. Now, don't forget, folks, I've had iAtomic beside me for this wonderful cast. Atomic, thank you so much for the wonderful broadcast. We've had Prof Layton and Hero on the back end making things crystal clear and beautiful for you all i myself have been pyro j thank you so much for joining us on some rocket league collegiate action you can always find the best of the best here on ecac esports and folks we will be sure to join you with more esports very soon here we'll see you then
Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the ground on the cards, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. others rally around inspire soldiers to follow your lead want to forge a better future start with the structures that support tomorrow's missions you believe the best offense is a good defense we've got a great way to prove that theory explore more than 200 careers at goarmy.com Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Are you the one others rally around? Inspire soldiers to follow your lead. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. We all got a thing, a thing that gets us out of bed or keeps us out of it. The thing we live to do, that we do for nothing at all. But don't do it for nothing. Take it to where it means everything. Becoming a leader is a choice. So if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Ah. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch it! You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Look to science to solve problems? Wield a microscope to confront global threats. You sometimes dream in code? Become a cyber attacker's worst nightmare. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. What do you expect from that first job out of college? working your way up from the bottom instead how does this sound starting in a guaranteed leadership position with people who look to you for guidance because you're trained to give it and make important decisions in critical situations skip entry level decide to lead as an army officer becoming a leader is a choice not everyone wants to make because all eyes are on you. Calling the shots. Inspiring others to follow. In any environment. At any scale. It's not for everyone. But if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead as an army officer.
You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. I think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying to live. Oh my God, it's real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, it's real big. I gotta do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to. Careful them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two rents. They was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like can food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on sham mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Y'all offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live. Accept and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. others rally around inspire soldiers to follow your lead want to forge a better future start with the structures that support tomorrow's missions you believe the best offense is a good defense we've got a great way to prove that theory explore more than 200 careers at goarmy.com Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Are you the one others rally around? Inspire soldiers to follow your lead. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. We all got a thing, a thing that gets us out of bed or keeps us out of it. The thing we live to do, that we do for nothing at all. But don't do it for nothing. Take it to where it means everything. Becoming a leader is a choice. So if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Skip entry level. 
Decide to lead as an army officer. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch it! You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Look to science to solve problems? Wield a microscope to confront global threats. You sometimes dream in code? Become a cyber attacker's worst nightmare. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. What do you expect from that first job out of college? Working your way up from the bottom? Instead, how does this sound? Starting in a guaranteed leadership position with people who look to you for guidance because you're trained to give it and make important decisions in critical situations. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. Becoming a leader is a choice not everyone wants to make. Because all eyes are on you. Calling the shots. Inspiring others to follow. In any environment. At any scale. It's not for everyone. But if you want to learn and make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead as an army officer. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to Careful them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two wrists They was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new Smell like can too I'm fresh forever like can food Try and tell me what I can't do I wanna see the world, my vision on Shamu That mean I got goals that's real big Foes that's real big Y'all offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big Coming into the ring with blows that's real big I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live Accept and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. others rally around inspire soldiers to follow your lead 
Want to forge a better future? Start with the structures that support tomorrow's missions. You believe the best offense is a good defense. We've got a great way to prove that theory. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. Hey, man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Yes, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Are you the one others rally around? Inspire soldiers to follow your lead. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. We all got a thing. A thing that gets us out of bed or keeps us out of it. The thing we live to do that we do for nothing at all. But don't do it for nothing. Take it to where it means everything. Becoming a leader is a choice. So if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Look to science to solve problems? Wield a microscope to confront global threats. You sometimes dream in code? Become a cyber attacker's worst nightmare. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. What do you expect from that first job out of college? Working your way up from the bottom? Instead, how does this sound? Starting in a guaranteed leadership position with people who look to you for guidance because you're trained to give it and make important decisions in critical situations. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. Becoming a leader is a choice not everyone wants to make. Because all eyes are on you. Calling the shots. Inspiring others to follow. In any environment. At any scale. It's not for everyone. But if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead as an army officer. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of...
Welcome in, everybody, here to Albany, taking on Wayne State College. Wayne State College gets their second appearance on the ECAC side today, but uh, that was in Rocket League. We're on to Overwatch 2 now, clutchy alongside Twin Salty here. And first time we're together, but this is going to be good fun. Both of these teams in a 2-0 and position uh, from the very get-go. Albany with the 3-0 and wins against Greenville and Husson JV team. Meanwhile, the Wildcats of uh, Wayne State getting themselves a 3-0 wins over SUNY Poly and Ball State Club. So uh, this is going to be an interesting match. 2-0 and to start through three weeks, and uh one of these teams is going to fall uh, to two and one. Unfortunately, they're going to get their first loss. And so this is going to be a tight game from the looks of it. Yeah, it looks to be a phenomenal game tonight. As you said, like they haven't dropped a map so far. Granted, it's a small sample size. It's two weeks, but it is a good way to start your season. Now you really play probably your first test of the year and another two and O team, six and O on map count. And now I think teams are really gelling into what Overwatch 2 is and the metas and kind of how you play push. And I'm kind of curious to see what we see from these teams tonight. Yeah, and there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of different things that can go on, especially with different metas, right? And we know Kiriko is, has recently been dropped into the competitive scene as well, so that might change up a little bit of different things. We've seen uh, some news where, you know, Overwatch League teams have kind of experimenting with Kiriko, right, with the Lucio, Kiriko, uh, Winston, and some sort as well. So there could be different matchups uh, coming out as well. Although we could see some of the classic ones, right? We've seen a lot of uh, different compositions with Baptiste or Lucio or, or just all kinds of things. Lucio kind of uh, up there with one of the top healers, right? right now in, in the higher elos at least so we'll see uh what uh gets pulled out although the map set is already pulled out so the first map that we're gonna have here is busan and we were talking about this behind the scenes as well busan one of those maps where it's kind of not often uh picked uh necessarily by some of the teams it's more or less just there when it's preset yeah it seems like if you want to play a map that has a lot of the same qualities as busan like oh you're probably gonna play li Zhang, or you're probably gonna play nepal but this time around going over to busan and it as you kind of talked about already, we're going to be seeing a pretty, pretty uh, simple here. Not simple, but kind of the meta comes to be coming out. I was kind of a little surprised to see the Baptiste instead of the Kiriko. So as you said, the Lucio with Kiriko has been really good as of late, especially in these Zarya counts. But both teams electing to go something we're more familiar with with that Baptiste. So underway here with uh, the Mecha base. Diving right in, and an oh, so close already. Ski's just going to dive right in. They have the Zarya bubble. Zarya's been the meta pick thus far. No changes since that October 25th uh, patch with the Halloween Terror. So Zarya's still optimal in this kind of situation. Again, you can see how far in Ski is going, but that cost him his life. Although it is straighted out for the DPS side. Ginger does go down. Uh, both sides pretty much running very similar comps here, like you were saying. So, uh, for right now, it looks like the Sojourn for the Genji trade is going to be enough for Albany to just go on in, try to take the point cap first, and right now somebody's going to have to drop already. The fight continues on. It's a first flip, though, for Albany, and it's looking uh, pretty decent thus far. High charge for Sunny as well. Immortality field already having to be used, and this is just going on and on, and there's no winner quite yet. Ski doing, going down very early again. But this time, if you're Albany, you take down the Zarya, which is a good pick for you, because now that forces Wayne State all the way back. Although, it's Marion going down, and you're going to have the Sojourns traded out. Right now, it's a trade fight, but if you're Wayne State, you're kind of liking your odds right now with in a 3v2 situation, and eh, it could go either way, but they build the grab up in time. The South Marrier might be of good case. They still trade out, and it's going to be Wayne State looking like they've won this fight. Yeah, what a play from Wayne State that Whispers just gets that sound barrier in time. It's like, all right, try and get it. And able to counter out that grab from Sunny, which if that does land without that sound barrier involved, you lose both your healers. I think Albany maybe brings that. But traditionally, it's like, if you leave to Zarya so early in the fight, you're like, okay, probably need a backup. But when you have somebody like Frambe on your team, the odds are never two against you. Oh, let's see if... if Dials go against here. You're going to have the application matrix in as well as a Graviton search that is big. Four people inside of it, but the immortality field saves everything. So Moose Mouse grab goes for basically nothing, and Albany's going to turn the flip or turn the script rather back into their favor. Yeah, it is able to turn it around just like that. Ski's going off and now has that blade as well ready and online. And honestly, Albany, ever since losing that initial fight where they got maybe a tiny bit too aggressive, they've been really good about controlling these fights and now are able just to go with the blade. It's gonna get one, gonna be able to get a few with the cleanup as well. It's just near team kill gonna come out. There it is, Moose Milk getting taken down and Albany just keep on rolling with still a sound barrier in their back pocket.
And you wonder in these types of situations, does it count for the challenges? <laughs> does it count for the daily challenges uh, for the team kill? But no, we'll see. Uh, them coming out 71% and rolling right now, as you were saying earlier. The team right now is being able to turn that around. And now we'll have a blade up there. No, the blade's not going to come out just yet. The sound barrier is there, but now the blade opting to come out. But it may be too little too late for Wayne State. There's already two players going down. That's both of the sports down for Wayne State. Already having to back off. And Ski going down is the only person that's going to go down here in the meanwhile. 90%. Wayne State in tough situation here. Desperation mode, if you will. Because now they're going on to rush characters. Is this Lucio? This Diva and this Trace are going to make it in time. It looks like they will just touch in time. But with the trade off for right now, how many is going to take this, especially in a rush composition? And they still have it up top, trying to get the cleanup there. They do get the Soldier and Trace. And this Wayne State change might actually be working for them. In fact, they catch them off guard and they've got four and they flip. They're able to flip it up, and a part of it is just Ginger Hair going on the high ground, uncontested, able to nail a few down. You are stuck now in a comp that's maybe not the greatest against Zarya because I would say Zarya is the only hard counter to D.Va currently in the tank line and with the grab almost online, you really just need to race to get that before Whispers hits that sound barrier. Well, sound barrier coming up as well as the Graviton Surge for Sunny too, so we'll see that works out. Graviton Surge is big, that gets three people, but the sound barrier there to counteract for right now, but underneath, Moosebuck trying to do something to help the team out. Unfortunately, it's not going to look like it's working in their favor. Ski pulls out the plate to swing away, get the Steva, get this Lucio. And right now, it's looking all good for Albany here with 72% coming up for a Wayne State or 73. Albany's going to get the first map on Mecha Base. Just back and forth. Uh, again, the Wayne State with uh, those stall characters, yes, that initial fight catches them off guard, able to roll it, but just Albany has the better comp on paper. When that second fight engages, Wayne State also don't have the ultimates, but so many of them had to swap. So now as we get ready to go downtown, I do think Albany, especially right now, Sunny's been playing extremely well and being able to organize and kind of communicate with Ski when they're going in and some of these dashes, giving them the bubbles so they get even more value than what they were earlier on, especially over from Bay. And Wayne State at least teasing something else right now outside of that traditional Zarya comp. Shoving Moose Milk on that Winston. Yeah, they're going with the Winston and Frombe sticking on the Tracer now. I mean, they're going to have the Soldier in there uh, for the long range. But for right now, Winston looking like they want to play up close and personal with this team. And so far, they're chasing this Lucio down. And Lucio's having to go all the way back to the other side. And that's going to force him out for right now, giving Wayne State a little bit of time before this Lucio does come back in. Immortality field used on either side, but Ski going down very early on is a good sign if you're Wayne State. Four seconds until the point unlocks. And it looks like Wayne State's happy to, or rather, Albany's just happy to just give this one up for right now. They are not playing four, knowing that they're going to run into basically what is a rush here uh, for Wayne State. And the Winston, as the fight continues on, they do get the flip uh, for the Wildcats for right now. Rambe's going to go in the back line, see if they can pick off anything. Immortality Field is back up for both sides right now, though. It doesn't really matter as Moose Milk and Whispers both going down. So an early flip for Wayne State, but it's looking pretty decent here for Albany to take it right back. A storyline we saw early on, but Albany gets the flip. Yeah, it's just like Mecha Bay's the first time around, other than just, you know, 10% quicker this time if you are Albany. And they were able to take that fight a little slow. Like, as you said, you don't have to rush it right away. It's okay if they get 20 or so percent on there. Your comp is, so, is better than theirs just because of your tank line and drawing these fights out, building up that uh, Zarya charge, and now already halfway to that grab. You know, Moose Milk actually doing a really good job building up that primal, getting a lot of damage and pressure on the ski, denying their ability to get into the back line. Here comes Moose Monks. That's going to go right in. Astroworld just going to move him right out of the bubble for right now. So the fight plays on, but a great headshot on the Sojourn from Samarian there. The blade is pulled out from Ski, which gets rid of the Immortality Field, which gets rid of Waffle Art. And the two DPS also going to be enough for Albany to win this fight, although they also do invest the uh, application matrix as well. It does not matter. It's a good win there for Albany. Yeah, great win there for Albany. That Ant Matrix paired up with Samarian. This nice little headshot on the Moose Milk just shuts down the entire Wayne State attack. It seemed like they were kind of anticipating Moose Milk to get that primal when they jumped in to uh, draw out that fight, but weren't able to that time around, but now have some ultimates on the board, including that Ant Matrix from Waffle. Well, they're going to jump again right in, but this Winston really having no success as of right now that Gets you going oh so low, but now the sound barrier out. And Sunny, 91% to a Graviton Surge. 
This might not even need to use it for this fight. Not even, might not even need to use it at all. But for right now, both of the Sword Strings are traded out. Graviton Search is built up by Sunny, which is going to get a kill onto Waffle Arts and uses the Immortality Field at the same time. Primal Rage there, maybe to get something or anything happening to maybe displace them for right now, though. I mean, you get the Lucio out of this and you do get the Genji. I mean, that's huge for you right now, especially when you're trying to win the trade fight. And so now Ginger Hair back in the game does get the picks, and now it's a 2v5 situation, which means if you're Albany, you're not liking your chances of winning this fight. It's only the Czar you're left on point. Overtime clock is started, though, so it's one fight territory here uh, for Albany to try and win this out. But with the Czar, you're gone. It's only a Lucio to hold on. It looks like they're going to be able to flip, and Skeet still, I mean, this is really good stagger fight. Unfortunately, in, in, fortunately in control, it really doesn't matter. You do get 99% though out of it. Yeah, you get the 99%. Maybe just getting that little bit extra all charge. But honestly, Albany just they keep on doing their thing, man. There's not much that Wayne State's been able to do. The Winston pick hasn't really worked out the way they've wanted it to. And Whispers on the Moira as well with the map. It's been a little bit of a weird combo because they don't have that speed to really drive Moose Milk into these engagements. The, the application matrix is going to be used. And yes, used on both sides here. And... There's the blade out from Ski, which gets one. Looking to dash away for two. Looking for a third, won't happen for right now. Now you got the blade out from Brombe, but this might not find much, if anything, here, because he is just knocked away. And right now, it's all Albany in control. The Great Danes are going to win Mecha Base two to nothing on an impressive streak for them. They're up one to nothing in the series. Just a beautiful display from Albany. The team play at just the highest ability right now. You even saw it at the end there when Ski was getting targeted after they were done with their blade, puts the bubble on them, making sure that their Genji can stay alive and they eventually went out to fight. And Ski, man, especially in the early game on Mecha Base here, was just going crazy into the back line of the Wildcats. And Wayne State really just didn't have any answers for it. They tried to go to the Moira. I was like, all right, maybe indirectly kind of counter with that Genji a little bit. Does not work because at that point, you don't have Zombie Air for a grab or a blade. So at that point, once Albany were able to start rotating those ultimates, Wayne State had no answers. Yeah, and Wayne State just coming up with uh, basically nothing. Although you can say it wasn't all for nothing. They did get a few highlights out of that, and they will be picking the next side uh, coming up next in our next map. But, I mean, there there was a couple of good moments there. They obviously had a few fights where they get 73% on Mecha Base. They got a few percentage on uh, Downtown as well. So, hey, not too bad, not too shabby of a start for them if uh, if you're looking at it uh, from a good perspective, if you're looking from a glass half full perspective. So now we come up with the next map here, and Eichenwald uh, comes up in, to perspective here for their next nap and uh with choosing sides uh will be the side of uh wayne state but maybe choosing sides makes a difference here i mean you're gonna have you're probably picking the fence first if you're lo if you're on the losing side right now especially on eichenwald uh, just to see what albany's gonna pull out here but uh for for this at the very least i mean what what, what does wayne state have to do to adjust in, in order to get back at albany here i think you need to put a little bit more pressure onto the back line of albany because it seemed like the, like the supports and Sumerian just had free range. They were kind of just chilling. Yes, you try and use the Winston to dive in, and they just get booped away. They get they bubble their targets, and they just couldn't get anything done because they couldn't really engage fully into that back line. And because they were on the tracer, it really didn't work out. Like the tracer couldn't get into the positions to help out their tank in some of these dives. I agree with you. I would probably go defense first uh, here if I was Wayne State. Try and get a read on what Albany is going to be doing on their attack. And then from there, you can kind of alter your strategy a bit. Because I think, especially in Overwatch 2, it is so much more a game of counters. You were countering each other out way more, especially in that tank line, than you did in Overwatch 1. And especially, like, if you see a D.Va come out, all right, go Zarya, just because defense magic doesn't mean a thing to Zarya Beam. So I'm kind of curious to see uh, what they're going to be able to pull out. And I don't know. Personally, I don't think the Moyer was a great call. I think she's probably one of the weaker supports right now. But I at least I like the thought behind it. It's allowed Ski. Try and deny their value. But I don't know if that was just the right direction to go. I think this is, though, with the May coming out from Ginger Hair. I like that call. But at least like, try and slow the fight down and use those walls to really draw out those bubbles really early from Sunny. Well, let's see. I mean, the May can slow down anything else, really. I mean, other than the, like you were saying, slows down and pulls out the bubbles here from uh, Wayne State, and that Blizzard still freezes everything in sight if it does get pulled out. So, hey, 
If this works, Wayne State's got a comp that they can use, especially against the Zarya composition. But right now, Albany opting not to use the Genji here, instead opting for the Reaper if uh, for the defensive side at the very least. Samarian's going to try to get a few uh, pickoffs here, but Wayne State is going to go on the attacking side first. And they're pulling out the Reinhardt here as well, so maybe trying to see if they can get the double wall uh, with the Reinhardt on the main wall up for right now. Although this may, I think, trap that Reinhardt for a little while from the looks of it, but got them back into the in, into play and now it's just another hold right here underneath the overpass to get rid of the immortality field they get rid of moose milk to start and albany off to a very quick start here as you get rid of one of each roll and that's going to force albany back just or rather ring state just back a little bit yeah i did i do think chicha hair accidentally walled off moose milk oh uh, that was that was definitely a whoops uh, on there and i had a feeling was communicated very quickly as it also draws out Immortality Field from Waffle Art, so they can't get Moose Milk out later. And now Ski's just in the back, having a good time, able to get Whisper, is able to get out? He's not able to get out. Yep, Whisper and Frambe both go down. And so now Ginger Hair just sitting here, just watching as he's surrounded by every single thing possible, and the main goes down. And yet, I mean, that's two quick fights and a minute 10 gone, but already Samarian's gonna have an overclock Ski very close to a Death Blossom too. Yeah, Ski, just no matter what flex DPS you're putting him on right now, he's just excelling on pushing the agenda. Wayne State haven't had any answers for it, and now going to be in the back line again. Now the back line just getting caught out by this Reaper, and the Reaper gets away scot free. Yet again, gets Frombie, gets the Immortality Field down, and now the Death Plus in the back line getting two. That's both the tank and the Lucio, and it's another quick fight when halfway through, Samarian's just going to show dominance right out the spawn door. And right now, it's all Albany. All Albany all day currently is. Wayne State just, they haven't been able to get through choke. And usually it's like, all right, with the May, you're going to try and wall off, at least on this point, wall off a side and go to the other side, right? Probably to the left side around tower. They haven't even been able to get through Archway just because they're trying to take it a little slow, constantly looking for Ski. Ski going down there. They almost had him. 15 health. That's the Earth Shatter available. Earth Shatter gets through in the back line with the Immortality Field there to cover, and Ski gets Moose Milk before he can do any other damage. The sound barrier is invested from Wayne State. It's too little, too late. And again, another defensive hold here from Albany. They've wasted two and a half, and now Wayne State's got nothing else to do but switch. Yeah, they have to switch. Tank line, they use both support ultimates. It's and nothing Wayne State's been doing right now has been working just because Albany's playing it perfectly. They're trying to play these angles. They have Ski constantly in the back line and trying to draw a value. And as soon as he gets pressured, Sunny has both ally bubbles that they just put out of him. They get out scot free. And at that point, Wayne State has used so many resources, they can't engage. Well, the Graviton Surge is out. Big one gets three inside. The only thing that can save you now is the immortality field. Run away is the disruptor shot gets Waffle Art, although Sunny does go down in a trade-off value for right now, but two people going down for Wayne State, not looking great. I mean, you can see them playing back here around the corner, and it's going to be a fight win for Wayne State, but for how long? Yeah, honestly, I, I don't think it'll be very long. Sunny, them dying normally would be a bad thing, but when you have a DPS line of Ski and Sumerian, it's so hard for Wayne State to try and go through it just like that. Death oh, Blossom boy. with the bubble, able to get to three, and it's just, well, yep, time to go back to the spawn room if you're Wayne State. And that's kind of been the entirety of this map for them. They've not even got close to point. They've barely got through Archway, and Albany just keep rotating these alts. Now they have Ant Matrix and Overclock to go together in this potential final fight of their defense. Well, the dragon's also available. Frame's going to use the dragons very early on here to just maybe scout them out just a little bit and find out. But Ski's in this back line again. They know where Ski is, and Ski's in a lot of trouble. No Wraith form to get away at 54 health, but nobody's going to be able to touch the point in time. They try to focus him down, but nobody touches in time, and that's it. It's a full hold for Wayne or for Albany here. So one tick in four minutes gives them the 2-0 lead. It was the Lucio from Wayne State that tried to touch and Whispers just couldn't get there. They get a rail shot to the head from Sumerian. I I would have liked them to maybe keep the dragon. I, I do understand it to a degree of all right, trying to make some space with it so you can finally get through that choke, but you almost have grab as well. I think Moosewick was at like 92% to their alt at that point. So like maybe just try and build it up a little bit more, but I think that is the downfall of them losing that previous fight so badly is because moose milk even if they live let's say five ten seconds longer or they're able to survive they build up so much alt charge 
that they're able to use that combo early and they don't have any problems with Whisper's touching point. Now they're in a, a very tough situation. I would dare say near impossible as you have to full hold for four minutes after Albany didn't even let you get near the point. And they've mastered this composition with the Zarya and the Flex DPS. It's been, you know, Ski on the Reaper and on the Genji so far. And even when that doesn't work, Samarian's setting their shots. So for Wayne State, I don't even know what to tell you at this point. The Orisa call, I like trying to go for a niche pick. I just worry that every time they use Javelin Spin, Sunny's just going to beam him down. Yeah, so Wayne State, while Wildcats are in a lot of trouble here, hoping for the best they can hope for is a tie as the doors unlock and we're underway here. Albany saying, well, from that one, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Ski back on the Genji, so see if this works out in their favor. 349, they have their, like you were saying about the composition, Orisa now in play. First time we're going to see the Orisa here. And Jinjihar does hit the wall, but the wall doesn't find anybody on the other side of it. In fact, now Jinjihar in so much trouble, having it already referred to Ice Form, and now that's already gone. Now we see the first glimpse of the payload here, and Sunny's already got two running him down inside of the side room, and this is going to be pretty much an all-for-nothing fight. In just a matter of a couple of seconds, it's going to be Albany winning out this fight. You've only got the Genji left to worry about, and in the matter, in the matter of or of 31 seconds, excuse me, or 41 seconds, Albany's going to get the win here on Eichenwald. So a 41 second take lands up with them with a 2 0 lead. Wow. It, Albany, they came to play, that's for sure, especially this man right here, Ski. It, again, the teamwork, they, they use Lamp on their own Death Blossom to make sure, like, all right, yeah, Ski, just go in. Don't worry about your life at all. It doesn't matter how gutsy, potentially stupid this Death Blossom is. We got you. Like, we're going to use Bubble on you. We're going to use Lamp on you. You're fine. And honestly, that's when Ski is able to play like that, just so free. Like, honestly, just goes to the back, doesn't care. They know they're safe. They're going to get healed up and bubbled or whatever. They don't have to care about their life that much. And no matter what, they got out. And Wayne State, I think, I don't know. It seemed like they really never got the pacing of the match. Like, even that first fight, they walled themselves off. They get the Ryan shield broke. The Ryan pick i don't mind it early but i think if you get shut down that fast and you realize like hey we can't even push in here maybe the swap earlier would have helped but honestly with the way albany are playing there's only so many things you can do except to wait for them to make a mistake yeah and right now albany is making little to no mistakes especially on that eichenwald yeah. map you can't really you, you gotta hope if you're hoping for a, a, a gap in if you're hoping for a gap of space uh, albany is not giving it to you especially in that second map it only took them 41 seconds to cap uh, that point on Eichenwald here. So Albany's up two to nothing against uh, Wayne State again after uh, Busan 173, 158 on the Mecca Basin downtown, respectively. Albany's up uh, two to nothing. And right now, I mean, Wayne State's got to find an answer. Next map up is going to be Dorado, uh, which is Escort, but we can't really go off of anything on Escort because we didn't get to see the payload unlocked uh, for the first point, uh, at the very least, back on Eichenwald. So. I mean, maybe it's a change of pace, especially since it's not a control point. Maybe this is Wayne State. I mean, we've seen where teams are better at escorts than uh, control points. So maybe this is Wayne State College's turn to uh, show up. But for right now, I mean, it's not looking good, especially if uh, you're down 2 nothing in the series. Yeah, that's that's the kind of the way you have to look at it right now, right? Like, at this point, you put the two first games behind you. If anything, you take a little bit from Busan, because, again, you looked good at points. I think... Uh, if you were Wayne State, please pick defense first. I, that's all I've got to say. Pick defense first. You can get your bearings a little bit. Um, but I the other bright side for them is they do pick offense first. Uh, they did show a little bit of dive once over on Busan downtown. So at least for especially the second part of this map and kind of this opening phase, they're at least comfortable on comps that can really work against these Zarya compositions if they get split up a little bit. I like right now they're pulling out the D.Va. The Pharmacy is an interesting call, but I wonder if it's going to work. I think it actually might be. It might be one of those wild enough calls that I don't think teams are really expecting Pharmacy as of late. You throw it in here, you throw it in Moose Milk trying to finish up those targets. It, is it, it could work. It could, but we've seen Samarian hit some shots, especially on that, uh, especially on the Sojourn earlier on. Now switching on over the Ash, a little more precise in this case, so this could work out. And well, as I say that, <laughs> Samarian takes down from base. So despite the uh, difference in projectiles to uh, hit scan, hey, look, Samarian's still hitting shots. Uh, we've got 
the Sojourn on Ginger here almost going down oh so low. So is Moose Smoke. I mean, a lot of this team going down to about half health. And again, Frambe taken out of the skies from Ski as he dashed away. Ski is slept and is able to get away. Somebody wakes him up just a little bit too early and the deflection gets the mercy. And right now it's just a dash away back to the spawn room for this team of Wayne State. Albany gets the fight win with 45 seconds gone. Man, that's a rough reality check if you're from Bay. It's like, all right, you know, get some damage on a ski early, then headshot by Samaria. And gets rezzed, you get dove by ski. That's that's a rough reality <laughs> check. To come on, yeah, they already, they already. It's like, nah, we're not even going to try and deal with this. Going over to the Genji, Moose Milk back onto the Winston. Moon going to be a little more selective with who they're diving here on the side. Yeah, and they still opt to stick with the Mercy as well oh as the Ana here, but the ski, the ski in the back again. I mean, what else do you want him to do at this point? Ski's just going on a rampage. Gets two on the dash away here, looking for the Mercy for a third. And right now, this team from Albany, unstoppable. Ha basically halfway through this map already. And, I mean, does get slept, but nobody there to follow up, honestly. And this is just going to be a protection now. Ski's the, the president. They protect him, and he gets away. Hey, President, now up on the high ground. At least for Whispers, like, you live. Like, I don't think, if you miss that sleep, you're gonna have to respawn and you're gonna have to wait even longer to initiate this fight. For Wayne State, I mean, they don't even have that many ults. They're gonna have Nano, but it doesn't matter when he's in the back line. And I actually countered out decently well. A one for one trade. Not horrible. Well, not bad, but you'd lose a healer in the meantime, although it does get rezzed up by Wallflower. Doesn't matter, though, when Frambe and Ginger Hair are going down oh so low. Wallflower able to get the rez up on the Whisper. And look, Frambe does go down. So right now, again, Wayne State having no answers. And it's only a minute. I mean, it's a minute 50 left to go, but you're even going to wonder if they can make it around the first turn. Yeah, that's the worry right now. It's just like, I can vote, like, they like, couldn't get past for Archway this time around. They can't get around this first corner, and that's a start, but they've only had to use two walls this target, now three, but you're Albany. Well, it's not bad, though. You do get uh, Wallflower in the back line, though, but it's still, I and mean, now, I mean, they get rid of the blob. You've got some space now being made by this Winston, so you've got, you've got Sunny down. I mean, that's big for you, and you're going to be able to make it underneath this archway. The Ash is the only person left that can contest this. Somehow gets Moose Milk out of this, and... Gets Ginger here. Gets two despite the fact that he was all by himself. And so Samarians got themselves kind of a decent trade. Yeah, oh, an amazing trade. You'd kill two. You force out res. They're not going to have that till about the 45 second mark now. It's not a bad trade if you're Albany and now you're able to go in with this grab. Well, the grab goes oh, in. Oh, it hits the bubble. But, and now the Primal Rage gets himself out of it, so the bubble kind of clutched there to save the rest of the team. Sunny's gonna have to dive around, and the Primal Rage gets both of the Immortality Field and Storm Eagle simultaneously. Overclock is used in basically desperation situation, but Wayne State College is gonna see their first map point of this entire series. And that's the confidence boost you needed if you're Wayne State. It took you so long to build some of these ultimates, and it's not even like you needed one of your own, it was more uh, an accidental, like, hero play coming in from Moose Milk with uh, the bubble coming through, able to kind of capture that grab, and all they have to do is pop Primal and they're fine. So now, three in just under three minutes, and you're able to slowly kind of dissect what Albany wants to run. Here's Frambe in the back line, has the blade, decides not to use it as the rest of the team drops. Samarian gets a kill with the Dynamite, even while they're being pushed away. That Dynamite explodes very early on, and now Frambe going down. Both of the DPSs are gone. And so Wayne State having a backup very early on, but two and a half minutes left to go on the clock. You're going to have something coming up with the Nano Blade, but I mean, the Sound Barrier might counter that already. Yeah, if you can try and get out Sound Barrier early, if you're Wayne State, that'd be huge. I'm honestly not even sure what you're going to use it for unless you're able to somehow draw out some sort of uh, just push in, you know, Ant Matrix early, just going to force Wayne State to kind of look at this again. The Nano Blade is out, there's the Sabre, but it's not going to happen in time before Storm Eagle goes down, so that's a big support gone. And now you have Samarian to worry about in the back line, and Astroworld right in front of you to worry about as well. Whispers tries to throw Bionate, but it gets eaten up by Sunny's Defense Matrix. And again, this Dynamite from above is just causing so much havoc. And Bob, I don't think it's slept. I think they missed the Bob there for right now. The Self-Destruct is out just to clear out the point. And for right now, it's looking like Albany's going to get themselves a fight win. And in fact, that is the case with the Diva on a mech. They're just going to keep him on a mech. There's no way for them to even get pressure on a Sumerian. Because every time Frambe or Moose will try and dive that high ground, Ski's just waiting up there like, hello, 
Uh, I'm the bodyguard now. I was the president earlier, just a few minutes ago, but now I'm protecting Sumerian. Like, they're the president, and they've just been able to build up this dynamite damage. Wayne and Stay are constantly trying to heal themselves uh -oh. back up when they only really have decent healers coming in from Whisper. Yeah, boy. Deacon from above. Justice reigns from above to below in, in Reaper's case. Drops down for a double, gets a 3k, and it's a team kill again for for Albany, which means 45 seconds. Wayne staying in desperation with only an overclock coming up at the very most. Yes, he is back, back again. Hide your back line because he is, he's just dominating. You can see him just kind of hiding as well right now. Going to try and get another pick off, and now this time to put Waffle Art onto the Moira. He's at least going to get found out early and will be able to get out, but at the flank this time, not gonna work out. I don't think Dax off for right now, so I mean, hey, I mean, that's a minor win for you for right now if you're uh, Wayne State, but for Albany's side, you've got a lot, you've got the Bob coming up, sixth man is out and ready to play. That's gonna go above the roof and is still causing havoc down there. Ginger Hair is taken down by the hands of Bob, the sixth man causing so much panic and placed in such a good position that really three people going down is of no issue for Albany as they get the position, they get the plays in time, get the sit that we kill on the Astroworld, but this might not matter too much, especially in a 4v1 situation. You get Sunny out of mech, but the trade fight continues on. Ski does have the Death Blossom to use down in the back line, which they will use right away. It will take down Frombe, it will bleed away the clock, and Albany's got some distance to make, but right now Albany with a good hold, only giving up one point in 33.53 meters. Score. Yeah, it just seems like Albany is like, okay, you know, we gave them that. It's, we, they screwed up a little bit. It's fine. And then from there, it's just, again, there's no pressure on Sumerian on that high ground. There's absolutely none. Every time that Ginger Hair tried to kind of put some pressure up there, whether it be from disruptor shots or trying to send some real gun shots up there, it either missed or at that point, Sumerian's like, all right, I'll just back up for a few seconds, you know, chuck a dynamite in, chuck Bob in, you know, I can just relax up there. They, there's no fear in the world. If you're a Sumerian, because you know there's nothing they can really do. If they have Moose Milk try and dive you on the high ground, guess what? Your entire back line is open for Ski and Company just to Ready push on through. Back. It's the perfect combo that Albany has right now. No wonder they haven't dropped a map so far this season. And now, as you said, in a pretty decent spot to get the 3 0 sweep tonight and not even worrying about heading to push on Esperanza. Yeah, Esperanza, one of the, one, or actually the newest map. Uh, so far, but we might not be able to see it at all, especially with the way Albany is looking right now, looking for a broom uh, out of the closet. It is peaking. They've only got one point, or they only have to get the first point, plus 33.53 meters, but if Wayne State can replicate what Albany did on their first point, they've got a shot at this, uh, but Wayne State opting to pull out the Sombra, and they're going to pull out the Genji as well, so I mean, and the, I think this is the first time we see a Brigida, right? Yeah, first time we've seen a Brigida, and first time we've seen a Sombra today. And I like, okay, I like the summer pick here. Try and deal with Ski, a little bit more hands-on, especially Sunny as well, as long as you don't get caught out too early. Well, he gets peaked very early on, actually. He gets, gets caught out just a little while, gets touched for by any physical body there. But Moose Smoke already down to half health. There's a lot of fighting going on in that upper area, especially when you've got the Lucio, or when you've got the Genji up there as well. So there's just a lot of damage being poured out upstairs. And right now, they've already got, and remember, folks. Wayne State's attack, they couldn't get it past the first world for a little while. And now this team from Albany with so much pressure, they've already got it underneath the archway, and they've already got two picks out of it, making a third and a fourth. And so for Albany, it's not looking too hard. Yeah, Albany's like, what, what took you guys so long? Like, we just we just pushed right on through it. Just like, I can vault again. Like, what a, one fight. All right, Albany's through. They get this first checkpoint because of when Wayne State died, they're not able to recontest. And at this point, you got five and a half minutes to hold a, a part of the map that historically, in normal circumstances, is not really easy to hold. Well, they got to make basically the impossible happen here. 5.15 to get, hold this all the way through. And look, they're already at 25 meters out. They do switch on over to the Cassidy, which does get the magnetic grenade out onto Ski. And so for right now, it's not looking too bad. If you're, it's not looking too bad if you're Wayne State, you get a fight win, but you got to hold on for near, for about five more minutes here, which seems nearly impossible in this case. Especially with Albany playing the way they are, Samarian's going to try and get out. Actually does get that mega. Wow. I'm not sure if they're going to be fully able to get out, but Moose Milk doesn't really have too much support over here, but eventually 
get taken out by Waffler, but this card Wait, keeps on pushing. The card moves, and it's within five meters. Somebody's got to touch, which they do, finally. So no letter number just yet, but 4.30 on the clock here. <laughs> Uh, and they always got a lot of ults to work with, especially if they want to push through. They opt not to for right now, just saving back just a little while. They speed boost the bomb way in the back line, and it's not going to find anything. Now they pull out the blade, but it gets canceled out. Whispers does get taken down on the back line, but that's traded out as Frame able to stop Ski from doing any more damage for right now. Ginger Her almost doing overclock. They have the sixth man out and available for Samarian, who's going to be able to do a lot of damage, and now Ginger Her just in so much trouble. Bob doing what they can. The Google Essence trying to be able to keep up more than ever here, but with Samarian hitting shots like this, it's pretty much all but a given here that Albany's gonna be able to bring the broom out of the closet, and the Great Danes have themselves a 3-0 record and a 3-0 win here against Wayne State. What a way just to continue on the season here if you're Albany. 9-0 in the map count now, 3-0 in the se in overall season. Outlook and Ski again. And them and Samarian, what a wombo combo they are. Like, it's insane, like, okay, if you want to play up close, you want to get these dives in, Ski, just constantly getting value, and at that point, when Ski was more, almost used as, like, a distraction for Albany, right? Like, alright, go in, Ski, like, get some value, get some attention on you, so Samarian can peek out and pop a few heads when, you know, they're trying to chase you down. It's just the perfect plan, and plan for Albany. Shout out to the supports as well, we didn't get to talk about them too much tonight, because they didn't do anything wrong. Like, usually when yeah. supports like, are right, they're usually doing something wrong or, you know, they're kind of out of position, they did everything right. They kept their team up for a lot of this, especially their DPS and the coordination this team has. There's That's all I got to say. They're scary. Like, I wouldn't want any team right now. I would not want to play the Great Danes. Yeah, Great Danes looking very great right now. 3-0 and oh, uh, to start on a record. Like you said, it has not dropped a single map and not dropping a single map in this series either. 3-0. and oh, So they're up to a 9-0 and oh map record. <laughs> that's looking scary, especially when you consider you're th it's three weeks in, six weeks total in the regular season until we get to the playoff rounds. I mean, Great Danes, Albany looking very uh, very clean for right now. We will see if we can get an interview, but we will take a break first. On the other side, we'll get an interview or we'll wrap things up. Albany winning three to nothing. We'll be right back on ECAC. Alabama. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. I think too small, I got big dreams. You just start I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Say trying to little my god is real big stayed up on the ground on the cars is real big i gotta do it big the only way that i can live and i promise i'm trying to before you count me out homie let me remind you they was blocking the shine now i think it's my time to careful them dollar signs like lights they'll blind you let me rewind to back when i was broken i couldn't acquire two cents and now i got two wrists they were sleeping on me homie must have got too big Call my phone, I'll be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on Shamu. That mean I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. Accept and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the ground on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. others rather.
rally around? Inspire soldiers to follow your lead. Want to forge a better future? Start with the structures that support tomorrow's missions. You believe the best offense is a good defense. We've got a great way to prove that theory. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Are you the one others rally around? Inspire soldiers to follow your lead. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. We all got a thing. A thing that gets us out of bed or keeps us out of it. The thing we live to do that we do for nothing at all. But don't do it for nothing. Take it to where it means everything. Becoming a leader is a choice. So if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead. What sound experience would you like to have? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. What would you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Look to science to solve problems? Wield a microscope to confront global threats. You sometimes dream in code? Become a cyber attacker's worst nightmare. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. Welcome back, everybody, inside of the booth here. Clutch Gear alongside Twin Salty. And joining us right now from the winning team of Albany is Aster World. And uh, Aster doing a wonderful job there uh, for you guys, especially for the Great Danes. Now 3-0 and on the season, halfway through uh, the six weeks of gameplay here. How does your team feel going in 3-0? and uh, Really solid start, I got to say, especially with Overwatch 2. We're kind of going in with a blank slate for every team, especially because of how different of a game is. It is with uh, different pacing and things like that. So, uh, but yeah, super excited for the rest of the season. Um, I think this was a good display for uh, what type of team we're coming as. So yeah, excited. Yeah, you guys, especially map one after that, we're like, okay, you know, this is going to be a close game. After maps two and three, you guys just started really throwing haymakers. What was the comms like, especially in map two, where it seemed like nothing was not going your way? Yeah, I, I think the biggest thing is like keeping composed because at, at that point, it's really just like with that momentum, you just want to make sure you don't push too hard or like give them too much opportunity to get a chance. So honestly, the biggest thing was like just controlling alts, controlling, uh, you know, pacing and things like that. Uh, shout out to Ski. I mean, he does a great job at, uh, I, I think you guys saw with the highlights, he, he, he was calling a lot of engagements and things like that. So uh, yeah, it was, it, we definitely just kept a good uh, flow throughout the entire match. So yeah. Yeah, that was something we want to talk about is it seemed like the coordination, especially between Sunny and Ski, was so good. Like, especially with the bubble engages, uh, the immortality fields as well, the one on Eichenfeld, 
to basically save him from his own death blossom. How are how has Ski really evolved as that leader? Because it seemed like every single fight, you guys were all coordinated on who to engage on and when. Yeah, honestly, I can't I can't gas Ski any further. Like I, we've been playing since uh, we were freshmen, right when this program started three years ago. So we've been playing for a minute now. Um, he's he's been grinding since then. Um, so. Sonny is a new player on our team. He's actually a freshman, so shout out to him as well for acclimating so well. But honestly, they've been working really well together. Um, but yeah, Ski definitely sets a large pace. He's heavily vocal in the uh, in the Discord, as you could probably assume, calling for bubbles and things like that. Um, and it definitely helps the flow a lot. So yeah, but Sunny, obviously uh, new to the team, uh, acclimated well. They've been like playing comp and things like that together. So you can definitely see the synergy there. Yeah, and you guys are uh, working well with that synergy, and now you join the ranks of uh, some of the great teams here that we know of, right? Fisher Pace, a lot of these uh, well-known teams, as well as you guys uh, up here with the three and zero situation. Moving forward, you guys are three games away uh, from completing an undefeated thing. We don't know what your opponent, who your opponents are going to be here within the next three weeks just yet, but still, uh, being three games away uh, undef uh, before you guys go undefeated, what's the mentality going to be like uh, moving forward, going into these last three games of the regular season? Yeah, I mean, uh, especially because like midterm times and thing like that right now. So it's definitely like a lot of practice, a lot of like just making sure we're keeping the tempo, not just uh, slacking off because we're doing so well. Um, it's obviously it's a regular season and then the playoffs. So we're definitely just preparing to get to that point. So uh, definitely not going to rush any types of steps. Um, we're going to get there when we do. Uh, but super excited to be at that level, um, at that ranking with uh, such notable teams. And uh, yeah, we're looking for it all. So we're excited to honestly just keep going and just keep improving. And you were talking about the playoffs earlier as well. Right now, well on your way to the playoffs. 3-0 and start. And uh, Astroworld, to your team, good luck the rest of the way. And thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. And that was Astroworld here, and we uh, welcome you back inside of the booth with me and Twin Salty here. And so, I mean, what a what a signified overall uh, team there from Albany again. Three and zero start for them, uh, and uh, on their way to the playoffs, joining a lot of good teams that are up there with three and zero. Now it's just the rest of the way to prove what they got. Yeah, I think for them right now is just as he said, like keep your composure. And I think. And maybe slip just a tiny bit on that Toronto defense. I kind of a mixture of that. I think Wayne State just honestly played a really good setup on their engage. But I think from here on out for them, just keep that coordination going. You're going to play harder and harder. Teams are going to push you. What I want to see from them, especially in these final three weeks, if a team does push you, how do you adapt? How do you answer that? Because from Wayne State, it seemed like when they got pushed back, especially on that control, they couldn't really adapt. They weren't able to answer back to the call that Albany was trying to call out. So I think for Albany, especially when they play maybe a team like Fisher, like if you have one of those top three and teams that are really giving you your money's worth, how are you going to be able to answer? Yeah. And they, we didn't really see any changes uh, that we saw today other than just an absolute role based on what they were given and what they threw at uh, Wayne state college. So let's see what they bring the rest of the way. Three and start. Like we've been saying, great Danes off to a running start as well, as well as Wayne state, although they dropped to two and one, we'll see what they bring the rest of the way. Twin salty. Thank you very much. And thank you to our prod cool as well. We've got a uh, pack game state away and uh, professor Layton back in studio, cool scoots or obs as well. And Astroworld uh, for joining us later on in the program as well. Thank you to everybody that made the stream possible. That's, it for today and we'll see you guys in the future final score again albany winning three to nothing over wayne state college advancing on three and oh in the standings until next time guys take care everybody peace what do you expect from that first job out of college working your way up from the bottom instead how does this sound starting in a guaranteed leadership position with people who look to you for guidance because you're trained to give it and make important decisions in critical situations skip entry level decide to lead as an army officer becoming a leader is a choice not everyone wants to make because all eyes are on you calling the shots Inspiring others to follow in any environment, at any scale. It's not for everyone, but if you want to learn and make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead as an Army officer. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com.
I think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to, before you count me out, homie, let me remind you, they was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to, count them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you, let me rewind to, back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents, and now I got two rents, they was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big, call my phone, I be like, who this, damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new, smell like can too, I'm fresh forever like can food, try and tell me what I can't do, I wanna see the world, my vision on Shamu, that mean I got goals, that's real big, foes, that's real big, your offer too little, Sorry, my soul is real big Coming into the ring with blows, that's real big I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live Accept and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. others rally around inspire soldiers to follow your lead want to forge a better future start with the structures that support tomorrow's missions you believe the best offense is a good defense we've got a great way to prove that theory explore more than 200 careers at goarmy.com Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Are you the one others rally around? Inspire soldiers to follow your lead. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. We all got a thing, a thing that gets us out of bed or keeps us out of it, the thing we live to do.